And he, and he says, um, two roads diverged in a yellow wood, and sorry I could not travel both and be one traveler. Long I stood and looked down one as far as I could to where it bent in the undergrowth, then took the other. I love this poem because I always feel like life is like that. It always brings us to places where you cannot travel both and both roads and be one person. You must choose one. And you know, um, today on International Women's Day, I find myself reflecting on the women who have come before us, on their journeys and on the paths that they took, and those that were closed off to them. Paths that during their lifetimes. Some of them courageously chose to take so that we today would have more choices. For me, and perhaps for many of you here, you think of women as I think of a woman in my life that I grew up with. I think really of my mother, Kudarat, who came to her fork in the road when my father won the democratic election in Nigeria in 1993. And my mother was second wife in a family of four wives. Um, she had seven children, and she was a high school graduate. She had, she had, she she wanted to be a pharmacist. She couldn't because uh, my parents didn't pay to send her to university. They didn't have a lot of money, and they had to choose between her and her brother. And they chose to support her brother instead. And um, this was normal. I mean, they'd even done quite a lot to send her as far as they did. But if we looked at just the achievements of both children. My mother was head girl of her school. She was like top student and her brother was doing poorly. You would, if, 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 if both children were treated equally, they would have invested in their daughter, but they did not. But you know, when my mother wanted to, um, my father had uh, been elected president and he now had, um, he, wa he wanted to serve as president of Nigeria from the elections. But the military in Nigeria did not want him to serve, and so they put him in jail. Then my mother had a choice to make. She could stay at home looking after us, or she could go out and demonstrate and march and speak out. And this woman, whose English was not very good, decided that she would speak out. And she became one of the leading organizers of the democratic movement in Nigeria. She had had some properties from other work that she had been doing. She sold the properties to raise money for the movement. And the military finally noticed her. This tiny woman who was probably about Sally's height. <laughs> Sally's going to come up next, so you'll see. But roughly like this. <laughs> she was not a very big woman. She was, she was quite small, very beautiful. In the beginning, they just ignored her because they thought, what could this woman do? But when she was able to organize the oil workers union strike, which went on for over 12 weeks, and it's the longest strike in world history by oil workers, the Nigerian military realized that they could not afford to ignore her. And so they tailed her car, they bugged her phone, they threatened her, they jailed her for 24 hours. And when none of that stopped my mother, they had her assassinated in 96. And um, later on, about two years later, my father on the eve of his release also um, died while still in prison. When I think of um, the road, the paths that they chose, I actually feel deeply inspired by them and I feel grateful to have been mentored by them and to have been able to see them up close. Um, because of their sacrifice, because of the sacrifices of other people in Nigeria at the time, we now finally got a democratic government and it's the longest running democratic government um, that we've ever had. We've had elections since that time, but before the military would always use any small excuse to take over the government again. They've not been able to do that um, because of the sacrifices that my parents made. And I, I learned from that that, you know, sometimes the road, the paths we take are not the easiest paths, but they would lead us to a better place. But not all the paths that my parents took were paths I wanted. 